Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading. This is part two for the week of March 21st. Uh, this right here is part one. We've already done this. It is in the uh, description down below. So if you haven't watched part one, make sure to check out the link in the description below. But uh, let's we're just gonna clarify through here and see Scorpio. Uh, with the Aries card, you have the um, this card here. <laughs> it says uh, conjunction on it. Uh, and it's a, it says alliance. So pretty much every single um, person it's kind of it's getting kind of boring, but at the same time, every single person is getting these cards of working together with other people. As I've been saying for like weeks, teamwork definitely makes the dream work right now. So if you're working on any projects, businesses, uh, relationships, you know, like focusing on being on a team would be very helpful. Uh, with the Ace of Cups here, you have the Seven of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. Definitely trying to decide if an opportunity that's coming in for you is worth it. Um, you know, we basically talked about this the whole entire first reading. Three Aces. And definitely a big opportunity coming in for you. And the Six of Cups, I feel, is kind of like saying, this is a gift from the universe. So, you know, and I'm pretty sure in one of your recent readings, I was talking about like, wasn't it all about like a gift or something like that coming in? And I, I'm pretty sure I also said, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. So, you know, I feel like you could be receiving a gift from the universe. And I feel this is saying like, don't question it. <laughs> Just accept it into your life. With the King of Cups, you have the Four of Cups. Um, I feel that we could not be seeing opportunities that are right in front of us at this time, Neptune and Pisces. Uh, I don't hate Neptune and Pisces, but I definitely don't like it, and I'm a Pisces. Um, to me, it makes things a little bit murky. It makes things a little bit cloudy. We can't really see all the details in like what we're doing. Four of Cups says you are manifesting something that you desire in your life, but maybe it just doesn't exactly look like what you want. And again, I'm pretty sure all three water signs had a message like this. So it seems to be like a water sign energy. I would just like give things a chance here. Uh, you know, it could be love. Maybe it's a person. Maybe they're really cool and really nice, but maybe you're just not sure. Like I said, I would give it a chance. So you don't have to marry these people. I, I like I, I, I don't, sometimes I'm, I wonder. <laughs> I feel like everybody's walking around thinking like they, they, not giving people chances, thinking that they have to marry a person if they go on one date. So what I would say here is if you're looking for love, I, I feel like this is saying allow yourself to be surprised, which I've been getting that energy quite a bit as well of like the universe, I feel wants us to open up to the opportunity of being surprised by something. So that's what I'd say here. It could be anything else as well. It's like if you're looking for an answer uh, in business or in work, I feel this is saying try things. Part of me is feeling like you're saying this is too easy. You know, those are the words that I'm getting here. So it's like you might get an opportunity in work or business. Maybe it seems too easy, <laughs> you know, on the surface. I feel like this is saying give it a shot because maybe it is just that easy, right? And sometimes, sometimes I think we discount things because we're like, there's no way that's going to work. I also am getting really the words, if I'm being honest with you, by the way, the words that are popping into my head are this is too simple. But again, I feel like that can be very deceptive. You know, it reminds me of my, you know, I come from the marketing world and, you know, back in the day, I used to work with companies and like some people that I would work for, it's like they would have like the ugliest website ever and it would work way better than something that was all like polished and perfect and all that other stuff. So it's like, you know, sometimes like the simple thing works better than something that's all polished. I get that feeling for you here. I'm not saying it's in marketing, but just in any area of your life where it's like something that's more simple, that's more basic, might actually be the correct answer. So don't discount any opportunities that look like that. Again, you're gonna have to you know, apply that to your own life. With the 10 of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, definitely a major victory coming in for you this week. Uh, clearly, it is a good week, is what I would say to you. I feel this is kind of surprising just based, based off the past few weeks, is what I feel like saying. Maybe you've experienced a dip or a standstill, like your next card here. And, you know, that's kind of like the feeling I get that things have kind of gone down a little bit. And I feel like what could be surprising is the the lift up, you know, going back up, basically. Uh, with that standstill card, you have the potential card. Again, we talked all about this with the, uh, with the Ace of Pentacles. The problem with the Ace of Pentacles is that it's a really good card, but it just represents potential, <laughs> just like this card right here. The problem with potential is that it's just potential. It doesn't exist. We have to, you know, put work into things that have potential to get them to work. So it's like there's no, you know, the thing about potential is there's, there's like no guarantee, right? It's based off of the amount of effort that you put into something. So you're getting a big opportunity, like we said in the big read, the first reading, but I feel that, you know, it, it's just something that has potential. It's just something that is gonna require maybe some elbow grease. With the Queen of Cups, you have the Five of Wands, conflicted. 
conflicted on like what to do, conflicted on what direction to go in here, Scorpio. So definitely time for you to take a risk is what I would say. Uh, five of Wands to me is also a card of learning. So I would try to learn as much as you can about the things that you're working on in your life. It's a card of like learning by doing. So a lot of you could be doing that. Uh, with the Five of Swords, you have the um, Page of Cups. Mm, Page of Cups, definitely love. <laughs> Some of you, you know, this could be a breakup that you experienced in the past, and you could be thinking about that with the Five of Swords, but clearly there's new love coming in for you. Uh, the Page of Cups, he's also normally looking into that cup, and there's a fish that's in the cup. The fish represents like an opportunity or something that you could be working on. So I would grab onto that fish. With the Hierophant, you have the Eight of Cups. I feel that if you're walking away from a person, probably a Virgo, <laughs> I feel like I've said this before, that some of you maybe have had a difficult uh, separation from a Virgo, could be a Pisces or a Taurus, uh, but I feel Virgo more than anything in the past. You know, it's like that Eight of Cups is saying like, don't get sucked down. It's like, you know, it's reminding me of being in a relationship. Like I've definitely had personally, um, you know, I'll just air my dirty laundry, I don't care. Um, you know, I feel that I've had relationships in the past where it's like really hard to let go of the person, like more so than maybe somebody else. Maybe you felt a very deep connection here with a person with that Eight of Cups. So I feel for some of you, it, the Eight of Cups is like saying, there's a much better opportunity coming in for you in love, like stay open. With that breathe card, you have this regeneration card. Yeah, a lot of regenerating energy going on right now, so that makes perfect sense to me. Uh, we're mo a lot of energy is moving into Aquarius. We had that Virgo. Well, depending on when you're watching this, we had that Virgo moon recently. So a lot of this kind of, you know, again, if you're watching, you might be watching it before the moon, but if you're watching it after, then never mind. <laughs> but what I would say is like a lot of regeneration energy going on in the astrology. Uh, with the Hermit card, you have, oh, sorry, this is the Knight of Cups. You have the Page of Cups as well. Again, doesn't matter. Knight in Shining. Clearly, there's like a Knight in Shining armor coming in for you. Page of Cups, same thing. I always get those two confused for whatever reason in this deck, the Wild Unknown Tarot. But uh, clearly, there's a love offer, like an admirer, someone who is very interested in you. There, I do feel, again, that for some of you, I feel like you're leaving a Virgo. For, for all of you, I feel like if this is a person coming in, I feel like either you or them is a Hermit <laughs> or both of you. I don't know. If it's a Pisces, it's probably definitely the Pisces that's a hermit, I'm telling you right now. But um, it's like someone needs to open up here with that energy. You could have the Ten of Cups with this person, clearly, Ten of Cups right here. So it's like, if this is love, there is something very significant coming in for you. I feel like opening up is a little bit of a challenge for both people. Five of Wands, it's like six, of, you go, if we go here, <laughs> Six of Cups, Five of Wands to the uh, Page of Cups, it's like both people see this, um, you know, soulmate vision with the Six of Cups is how I'm seeing that. Five of Wands is a conflict. Both people are not believing this. I see this as both sides, you and a person that you're going, you could be or go, are going to be dealing with in the future. And Page of Cups, it's like you both to the Ten of Cups, you know, total happiness. So I feel like some of you, like opening up would be very beneficial. Uh, for others, again, Ten of Cups, he is also normally looking into that cup. He's dreaming of his future life, um, you know, everything that he wants. Page of Cups, the fish in the cup, he needs to grab onto that and make it happen. With the Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, yeah. See, I think once you commit to something 100% or like 100,000%, which isn't even possible, but once you commit to something, you're going to be successful. Seven of Wands is my card of conviction. It's like a card of knowing that you know that something is gonna be successful, like believing it deep down in your bones. And when you do that, then it becomes successful. If you don't, then it's not. <laughs> so I feel for a lot of you, this is saying commit to this new opportunity that's coming in for you. With the Hangman, you have the Four of Swords. Yeah, like I said, a lot of recovery, regeneration, energy going on here. Uh, for others, I feel like that Four of Swords is kind of like sometimes dreaming of something like coming in to save you, you know? Normally on the Four of Swords, there's a stained glass window with a person receiving blessings in it, and it kind of represents receiving blessings, but at the same time, the guy, he's like sitting there, he's praying, right, when he's on the Four of Swords. It's kind of like he's hoping and praying for these blessings, but for whatever reason, there's, you know, one thing I will say, there's too much action here or need for action in your reading, and I feel like it's saying like, don't wait for the, the circumstances to be perfect. Don't wait for things to be, you know, exactly right. I feel like action is more important than like hoping that something is gonna come in and save you. 
With the Ten of Cups, you have the Five of Swords. Uh, again, I, I feel for those of you that want love, this is a past uh, separation. Again, I get that feeling of not wanting to let go. Again, you might have, you know, I feel, if, th if that message is for you, I feel like you've probably had people come in where you're like, I don't understand why I don't like this person, even though they're perfectly fine. Um, you know, and again, I feel like it's just kind of healing from a past situation. Some of you maybe you need to do like some cord cutting or uh, something like that is what I'm getting there. Because it's like the Ten of Cups exists for you, but the Five of Swords, I feel, is getting in the way. That's the best way I could describe what's going on here. Definitely feel like it's a past breakup. Again, even if we look at the diagonal here, Eight of Cups, Seven of Wands, Five of Swords. It's like Seven of Wands, you know, you know the Eight of Cups is walking away. Seven of Wands, not wanting to open back up. And then the Five of Swords, a separation. Uh, you know, so very interesting. Other than that, Five of Swords can represent need and take a risk. And everybody's been getting it this week. You have the Five of Swords twice here. So I feel for some of you taking risks. Um, you know, calculated risks would be a good idea. With the Seven of Cups, you have the Lovers. There you go. Um, for some of you, I feel like you just don't, for some of you, I feel like there's a connection coming in for you. And it's like, you don't even realize like how much it's going to add to your life. Um, pretty powerful. I'm getting salt and pepper popping into my head. <laughs> I don't know, I'm hungry today. So that's that's probably why. But what I, what I would say here is that I feel like you need to realize like when you invite someone into your life, there's gonna be a lot more that comes along with it. And look at this, you have geese. How crazy is this? There are geese on this card right here. And that card says alliance, which is like, you know, an alliance. And then you have two geese right here if it wants to focus. So I feel like coming together, you know, with another person is going to be, it's like, there's a lot more. Seven of Cups says there's, there's more than just love. Um, for some of you, this doesn't even have to be love. This could be a business, like a business partner or someone that you are teaming up with on a project or something. And I feel like there's like a lot more that's going on behind the scenes that's going also going to benefit you. So I would definitely look into that. The Lover's also about picking a new path. Um, you know, it's kind of like a card of being at a crossroads. With the Ace of Swords, you have the star. There you go. We were literally talking about the star in your first reading with the Hermit card. I was saying he has a st the star in his lantern. He needs to let that star out. He needs to use it to inspire other people, potentially by, you know, telling his story or sharing his beliefs or, you know, whatever. Um, you know, I think really, I've said it before, I'll say it again. You're, you're probably all gonna get sick and tired of it, but, you know, it's like, I really believe that at this time, we have all this energy moving into Aquarius and we have to be our own little star. The best thing you can do right now, if you're wondering, like if you're one of those people wondering, what's my spiritual path or you know anything like that, your spiritual path is to be an example for other people. And that could mean just by living your values. And, and again, Uranus and Taurus, right? Uranus and Taurus just wants us to live our values, whatever they are. I mean, it could be anything. Your values could be that you wake up and play video games for 10 hours a day. That's possible. You could start a Twitch channel and make a bunch of money doing that if that is your va your true value, right? So it doesn't matter like what your values are as long as you are living them authentically. It's like by doing that, you're giving permission for other people to do it. And I, again, I think that's the most spiritual thing people could be doing right now, just based off the energy that's gonna be entering into Aquarius for uh, you know the foreseeable future, basically. And um, so I feel like a lot of you need to do that, like inspire other people. <laughs> All the water signs keep getting this message and it makes sense to me. Uh, for others, I feel like this is something you've been wishing for that is coming in for you clearly because of that four of swords. The difference I'm seeing here in my head between these two cards here, four of swords and the star, is it's like the blessings that you're praying for, like he is on the four of swords, they, they already exist. Ten of cups, ten of pentacles, even that six of cups is a gift from the universe. But I feel just a little bit more action is what's needed to receive these gifts, whatever it is you're hoping for. But uh, super powerful reading. I like this for you, Scorpio. So thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But uh, thank you and definitely enjoy your week.